So in this video, we're going to briefly discuss the reverse triangle inequality and prove it. And we'll see that it's just a simple corollary of the triangle inequality. Okay, so let's firstly state what the reverse triangle inequality is. It says that for all A and B real numbers, we have the following. We have that the absolute value of the absolute value of A minus the absolute value of B is actually less than or equal to the absolute value of A minus B. Okay, so let's go ahead and prove this. And we'll see that it follows from the normal triangle inequality. Okay, firstly, we take the absolute value of A. We add 0 by subtracting and, and adding B. So we have A minus B plus B. This is less than or equal to A minus B plus B by the standard triangle inequality. If we rearrange this, we have that A minus B is less than or equal to A minus B like this. Okay, so this is the first inequality we have. Secondly, we have that B is equal to, again, using the same trick of adding and subtracting something. We have that B is equal to B minus A plus A. A. Again, by the normal triangle inequality, this is just B minus A plus A. If we just switch this round, we know that B minus A is the same as the absolute value of A minus B. So this is equal to A minus B plus the absolute value of A. And again, rearranging, we just get B minus A is less than or equal to the absolute value of A minus B. But B absolute value minus the absolute value of A, this is the same as saying minus, if we take the minus at the front, we have this. So we have this inequality here and this inequality here which again, like the previous video, using the triangle inequality, we have that the maximum of A minus B and minus the absolute value of A minus the absolute value of B. So this must be less than or equal to the absolute value of A minus B. But this thing on the left hand side is just the absolute value of A minus the absolute value of B, all absolute value. So therefore, the result we wanted, this result is proven. <laughs>